another integration technique. So, we have integration by parts. So, ano yung integration by parts? No kaya to? So, naalala mo sa differential calculus natin, no? meron tayong tinatawag na product rule. So, i-recall natin ano yung product rule. Ang sabi niya, the derivative of a product, so, the derivative of u times b is equal to u times derivative of v plus v derivative of U. Yan yung product rule natin. So, ang gagawin ko para sa integration naman, kunin ko yung integral ng equation na to. No? Pag kinuha ko yung integral niyan, ano ang integral ng derivative ng UB? So, syempre, integral ng derivative, mawawala lang yun. So, U times B equals integral ng UDV plus the integral of BDU. Pag nirearrange ko to, I can get this equation. The integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of b du. Ito ang governing equation ng integration by parts. Ang goal nito, meron tayong uh, complicated na integral. Irerewrite natin siya as another form such that yung integral part is now easier to solve. No? Yan ang technique ng integration by parts. Merong komplikadong integral, isusulat mo siya as another form na mas madali yung integral uh, part niya. For example, uh, find the integral of x ln x dx. Recall lang natin, no? Ang form natin sa integration by parts, the integral of u dv is equal to u times uh, v minus the integral of v du. So, we are assuming na itong form na to corresponds dito sa mahirap na form. Which is, yes, mahirap siya. Tignan, no? x, l, and x. Ano kaya ang integral niyan? Ang gagawin ko, identify ko kung ano yung u at saka ano yung dv I will assume no ganito no manghuhula tayo ganito gamitin yung integration by parts manghuhula ka ano yung u ano yung dv kailangan ma-fill mo siya uh, ang gagawin ko I will let u equals ln x tapos yung dv na part yan yung natira sa equation x dx so u times dv is ln x times x dx so ito yon x ln x dx Ang gagawin ko next, kukunin ko yung derivative ng u with respect to x. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Then, sulat ko dito yung dx. Then, kunin ko integral ng dv ko para makuha yung v. So, ang integral ng x dx, of course, is 1 half x squared. Pag nakompleto ko na tong apat na to, pwede ko na silang isubstitute doon sa kabilang part ng equation. Para ma-rewrite ko yung equation ko na x ln x dx into a much simpler form. So, u times v. Uh, range ko lang, no? We have 1 half x squared ln x minus the integral of v du. 1 half x squared times 1, uh, 1 over x dx. Of course, this simplifies, no? Ito ay the integral, uh, one half the integral of x dx. No? Mga cancel lang yung x squared over x. So, maging x, nilabas ko yung one half. So, ito ngayon is now a much better or a much easier integral kasi magiging one half lang ng x dx yun. At madali isolve to. Power rule lang. Masosolve mo na siya. And so, we have the integral, okay, the integral of x ln x dx can be solved as 1 half x squared ln x minus 1 half nung integral neto. And nakita mo naman dito, ito integral 1 half x squared. So, we have 1 fourth x squared at huwag kakalimutan yung constant of integration. Ito yung answer natin for the 
integral of x ln x. So again, reviewin natin, integration by parts, galing siya sa differential calculus product rule na minanipulate, integral natin, then rearrange. Ang goal natin, we have a complicated integral and we express that complicated integral into a form na mas madali isolve yung integral part. So, tulad nito, x ln x, complicated integral. Integral of x dx, easier integral. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe!